abilities you have. Where, no, shut up, Alana. My name's Alana Gambrill, and I run a company called Dancebox. I am an ex-professional dancer who wanted to leave the industry and create a space that enabled the everyday person to come and dance without judgment, making sure that when you walked into the room, you were greeted with a smile, you were greeted with a cuddle. I've been running dance box classes now for eight years, and as the sole teacher, I get to see every single client that walks in, whether it's their first class or 90,000th class, and I see such a difference. And I know it's a cliche word, it's a very big buzzword out there at the moment, but empowerment is what dance box is at its core. And I watch most people walk in for the first time with their eyes on the floor, um, their shoulders slump forward, and they're telling me how anxious they are and telling me how they feel very, very scared. And immediately, you've got this teddy bear human being cuddling you, making you feel safe. All my other clients that have been met a thousand times are doing the same thing. And it, it goes. And I watch as the class goes on and they realize they can do the warm up. They can strut across the room and feel empowered. They can learn a dance routine and be, and feel like Beyonce on stage at the O2 Arena. And then they're like, why did I wait this long? There's a lot of corporate events that I'm doing, and that is filled with white cis men in ties and blazers, and by half an hour of dancing with me, their ties are off, their blazers are off, they're wiggling their hips, and they're going, oh, I never knew I needed that. One of my clients, she said, you know what, I left the rat race, I opened up my own company that I wanted to do, and I'm watching it flourish, and I'm like, there you go. And there's other things like, you know, ah, oh, I left a, a toxic marriage because I felt brave enough and I felt courageous. And I felt, you know, I get one shot. And Dancebox gave me that power to jump. And when you jump, you're always gonna land. You're always gonna land. The reason I started dance is because I needed an escape. I needed an escape when I was a kid from my home life. It was a very toxic home life. Um, and I was scared to be in the house at certain points. And as soon as I hit that first dance class, I was hysterically crying. I was only a 12 year old kid and I didn't know why I was crying so hard, but I felt elated. I felt safe. I felt like I'd released so much anger and sadness and fear and angst. I, it just went. Nothing in those moments mattered, nothing existed. And so I, I very quickly at a young age said, I'm gonna do this for the rest of my life. Don't get me wrong, there's days where dance doesn't quite hit it for me because sometimes we're all the way on the floor. But 99.9% .9 of the time, when I'm moving to music freely, eyes closed, in the moment, I'm on top of a mountain with the sun beaming down on me, feeling like I could fly. And I want that for all of you.